damn, you got smoked. You suck at this game, dude. You suck so bad. I don't even know why you even try to play fighting games, dude. You're garbage. Absolute trash. I can't believe I just wasted my time playing you, dude. You don't even deserve to be in the same room as me, much less playing me in a tournament match or even a freaking casual online match, dude. Just give up. You're no good and you're not getting any better. You're just a straight up scrub, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here, scrub. I'm done with you. You wouldn't take that shit from me, right? Or some rando online? Fucking feels bad, doesn't it? Why the hell do you take it from yourself? I don't know if this is a hot take or what, and I don't really care. I'm just so done with seeing it, dude. I'm so over it. All right, these friggin' people always post-match, dude. It's always post-match. I'm, I'm trash. I suck so hard at this game. Uh, friggin' um, GG's. I'm dog shit, LOL. As if the LOL frickin' makes it any better. When you say I'm trash or I suck, you're just throwing yourself a pity party, dude. Not only that, you're attempting to, like, delegitimize your opponent's win without even realizing. You won because I suck. Eat shit, dude. I'm freaking, I am so over it. I'm not saying it's a lie when you say you're trash. I don't know you. I don't know every single player in the world. You might be trash, for all I know. But roasting yourself isn't helping your situation. And if I can be so bold as to speak for fighting game players at large, it's fucking annoying as shit, man. And a lot of that shit is fishing for sympathy or reassurance, and it's fucking pathetic, dude. It's not my job to make you feel better about your decision making and gameplay if it was ass, right? Like, I know I'm tough loving here a bit, and I'm sorry, but I'm just so sick of seeing this shit. Learn the game, put the time in, and stop being shitty to yourself. Just stop it. Stop being shitty to yourself. It's one thing to be like your own worst critic. It's another thing just to friggin' just roast yourself constantly and just say, oh, I suck. One of the best responses that I've heard to someone saying shit like, GG's, I suck ass, was, and with that attitude, you always will. Now, that's cliche as hell, but it's cliche for a reason, because it's goddamn true. Go back in your mind real quick, your entire fighting game history, and try to remember how many times someone actually talked to you like I did at the beginning of this video. Be it in a message or in person, I'm sure you can probably think of a couple if you've been playing as long as me. You can pick those out because they were rare. As long as you're not deliberately inciting it, you typically don't have to deal with shit talk like that very often in fighting games. Unless you're like at uh, like a fairly high level of play. And even then, it's not incredibly frequent. And most of the time, it's in the competitive spirit, not like destructive or malicious. What is destructive and malicious is how you treat yourself and reduce your play to, oh, I'm garbage at this game, instead of being nuanced in your self-criticism. This is how you do it right, okay? There was a guy in the Melty Discord who said this. I didn't, I, I, I didn't even see the match. I didn't see who he was responding to, but I already know this player has potential. He said, damn, GG's, I need more experience, but one day you're gonna catch these hands. No dogging on himself. No, sorry for wasting your time, or God, I'm so bad. He acknowledged his lack of experience, which is a good thing, by the way. It's a fundamental understanding of your current level of game knowledge, and it's a required skill to recognize what you need to work on. And then he followed up with a promise to his opponent that he'd come back stronger one day and give him a run for his money. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna beat your ass, dude. I'm gonna get better, and I'm gonna fucking come back and, and just wreck you, dude. What he might not realize is that it wasn't just a promise to his opponent, it was also a confident promise to himself. That's what's awesome about that response. It shows a willingness, one, to accept you're not as good as you could be, and two, you will be as good as you could be with time and determination. I'm sorry, I really am. Like, usually I'm not this aggressive with my opinions. This is like freaking two-tone talks on salt levels of frustration right here. But you don't get better if you're sitting there in I'm a little sad bitch land being a sad bitch about being a sad bitch. But this really got to me over the past few days. I seriously, I cannot log into the Melty Discord without seeing someone in the throes of self-degradation and it makes me fucking sick to my stomach and, and it makes my blood boil. I hate beating somebody and then having them be like, oh yeah, good stuff, I suck at this game. Stop. Fucking stop it, dude. I'm so done 
with this pity party shit. Practice, play the game, pay attention, and stop whining, man. If you lose hard, you gotta hold that shit, just like the rest of us do. We're all too busy holding our own L's to make you feel better about holding yours. All right, and that's a fucking fact. If you do that, I suck stuff. Every time you get blown up, you're done out here. You're going nowhere. Sorry again, it really gets to me when people do this. This is one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to fighting games. And some people might agree, some people might disagree. They might think it's no big deal. It just, I hate it. It's not helpful. It doesn't make you humble. It's just annoying, dude. It's just annoying. It's putting the onus on your opponent to be like, nah, man, you're not that bad. You did, you, you did pretty good. Nah, uh, I'm sorry, dude. I will a uh, hundred times over rather get that response about about I'm gonna come back and whoop your ass next time than to hear somebody just oh, I'm trash. Anyway, again, I'm sorry. <laughs> this was really bugging me today. I see somebody almost every day doing this shit. And I, I can't I can't stand it. I can't stand it. These are people that act like they're owed something when you beat the shit out of them. I don't know you shit. Anyway, I gotta cut it off here or I'll just rant forever, dude. I can't I can't continue to do this. <laughs> but I had to get it out. This is Two Tone Talks is my outlet for shit like this. This is not one that I enjoy doing. You know, I like talking about the the cool shit about fighting games and what makes them fun. But when I see something like this, I gotta say something. I gotta say something because this is like the quitting thing and the the salt people getting crushed by salt and stuff and i i have to say something about it sorry guys videos will be back to normal i promise i'm i this was just something i had to get out there man thanks if you watched the whole thing uh let me know your opinions on it shit maybe i'm in the minority here and maybe everyone else just sees it as like a ah, whatever i i don't know i just hate it i hate it I hate it when people freaking just roast themselves for absolutely no reason after they lose in a fighting game. Say GG's and move on, man. If you feel that way, you feel that way, but don't freaking say it. It's so pathetic, man. It's so just, just pathetic as shit. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Peace.